The histogram shows the height of a group of university students. Copy and complete the frequency table for these data. So we've got this a table here that we need to complete and it says how many university students are there in total. So we've got a histogram here because this is frequency density against height. So add two uh, extra columns to the table. So we're going to add uh, these two columns here. We're going to call this one class width and this one frequency density. Right, the first uh, one is going from 140 to 145. We got that in the example. So the next one will be from 145 to 150 with the equal sign at this side in order to be consistent. And then from 150 to 160. And then from 160 to 175, which is there. And then from 175 to 90. So we've got unequal class widths. Okay, so we can work out the class width of each one just by subtracting. So it was 5, 5, 10, 15, and 15. So what we also need to do is read off the corresponding frequency density. So this one is 2.4. This one is 4.8. This one is 3.7. This one is 1.2, and the final one is 0 0.6. Now, frequency density is equal to frequency divided by class width. If we want to find the frequency, then the frequency will be the frequency density times the class width. So we just need to multiply these two uh, columns together. So for 140 to 145, that's 2.4 times 5, which is 12. We'll put it into the table. And then from 145 to 150, it's 4.8 times 5, which is 24. We'll put it into the table. And then from 150 to 160, that's 3.7 times 10, because the class width is 10, that's 37. And then from 160 to 175, it's 1.2 times 15, which is 18. And then from 175 to 190, that's 0 0.9 times 15, which is 9. So here we have actually completed the frequency table. Now we're supposed to do the total, so if we add these up we get 100, and therefore there were 100 university students altogether. So this has been a video to show you how to find the frequencies given a unequal width uh, histogram. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.